joined now by longtime WPTV political analyst Brian Crowley. And Brian, as we so often hear, opinions on all sides are cemented and firm and not likely to budge much. How, when we look at something as historic as this, do we move through 2024 with this collision of political, executive, and judicial branches of government and, and American public so polarized? Well, the best way to get through any crisis is leadership, and that requires leadership on both sides of the aisle. We need leaders in both the Republican Party and the Democratic Party to guide us as we get through this, to keep us calm, and to let the judicial system work its way through. Uh, this shouldn't be that hard to do, but unfortunately, right now it is. What was so noteworthy, or most noteworthy, I should say today, about what you've seen of the indictments thus far, and already the predictable, many would say, reaction on both sides? Well, there's not much really surprising in the indictment. Uh, it, I think that this is what most people expected if the president, former president, was eventually indicted. Uh, you know, th this president has a long history of calling elections stolen. He did it in 2016 when he lost the Iowa caucuses to Ted Cruz. When he thought he was going to lose to Hillary Clinton, he started uh, hinting that uh, the election was going to be rigged. And, of course, we know what he did uh, with the current election. So. You know, Donald Trump does not go down easily. Brian Crowley, thank you for being with us. We'll come back and talk to you a little bit more later in the broadcast as we look toward the contours of the GOP primary races ahead in 2024. Brian, thanks.